Hey, what's going on guys? Captain Rick and uh, we're going to do a fishing report for Sunday, June 18th uh, from the Oak. Actually, we're not in the Oak right now. We're in my backyard, but just got home. Um, so it's been a minute since we did a fishing report. We've uh, we fished the Niagara Bar up until Memorial Day weekend. I took Memorial Day weekend off from fishing, spent it with the family, and then we had three weekends in a row of tournament fishing. <clears throat> so um, yesterday, afternoon late night we got back from Toronto fishing our last tournament and uh, we ran a charter today we had a pretty cool family uh, both parents born in Jordan uh, kids were all born here but um, really nice family but we had an 11 a 12 and a 16 year old kid so um, stuff they're not used to so we had a, a huge case of the dropsies I don't think it was the fact that they are you know green on the rods because talking to some other people there was um, you know, there was quite a few fish getting lost today, but that's beside the point. So um, we started a few clicks west of the Oak, started in about 100, 120 foot of water. We did work out to 250 at some point in the morning. Um, the screen lit right up. There's fish zooming all over the place. There's bait out there. Uh, just came from Toronto fishing a tournament. The amount of bait we saw on the North Shore was, was amazing on the fish finder. Um, our best spoon this morning was probably a carbon 14 on an 80 to 85 foot rigger. Uh, we ran the mag size on the main line and we took a sliding cheater with the regular size. Both of those fired. The high rigger, we got to go down 65 to 75 foot with Glow Roy Boys. Those are Dream Weaver um, exclusive colors over at Fish USA, the Glow Roy Boy. Anytime you're fishing down, 70 to 75 or deeper that that spoon is just a must-have out there um, Deep rigger was pulling an atomic meat rig. We uh, We really starting to like that glow stud meat rig by atomic So we had it behind a white flasher on our deep rigger this morning I had it behind a hammer time flasher on the diver this morning divers were firing anywhere from 200 to 240 this morning on two settings according to the smart troll that was putting it right around that 70 to 80 foot range, which is kind of where it should be. <clears throat> um, coppers, we ran a pair of 300s this morning. They kind of rotted most of the day. Uh, may have taken one or two bites on the 300 copper. The 400 copper, we were pulling a green BAM salmon candy flasher with an atomic BAM fly. That took a few bites today. Um, took our biggest bite today, uh, which was a teenager, nothing nothing crazy, but it was a nice fish. Pulled one of the 300s later in the day, uh, slid a 250 out with a MBK, a UV MBK uh, spoon, and that took a couple of nice steelheads. So um, there's lots of fish to be had at the oak right now. The steelhead and salmon bite there is about as good as you, you want it or it can get. So if you are looking to catch some fish, um, there was guys catching fish east, there's guys catching fish west. I mean, there's... You know, I talked to guys that are heard, or heard reports from guys all the way down to Sotus, Rochester, um, and then even further west, I guess. The bite's just on fire right now in Lake Ontario, so if you can get out there, get out there. Fishing's great. Put down your favorite stuff, and I'm sure you'll, you'll get them to fire. I will try and get some links down in the description for some of the stuff that I mentioned in this fishing report. We are taking next weekend off, uh, another family weekend, and then we're going to get right back into chartering after that for the rest of the season. So... Um, we will uh, get back to you with some fishing reports as soon as we get back on the water. Good luck if you get out there, and we'll talk to you later.